Hey, Richard Bryce here. Today, I want to help you to improve the timing on your one-handed backhand, because as you know, that is essential for being able to effortlessly generate power and spin while still maintaining control. And the way that we're gonna be doing this is we're gonna be working on our footwork a little bit and staying light on our toes. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, it'd be awesome if you'd give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As you know, timing is absolutely essential on the one-handed backhand if you want to be able to hit with power and spin, but still maintain accuracy. Now, when it comes to timing, using your feet is going to be essential. This is why high-level players make it look so easy because they use their feet, they're in the right place, and then they're able to drive off that back leg, use the hip, and then start using the full kinetic chain to generate the power. So staying on your toes is going to be really important because every shot that you deal with is different. Every ball is different. You have to make the little adjustments. And if you're on your heels, it's really hard to do it. So you need to make sure that you're on your toes. And by I mean that, what I mean by that is staying on the balls of the feet so that you can make the little adjustments and then drive in. But something that's going to be really important is safety. Depending how strong your feet or ankles are, you've got to make sure that you're safe when you do this, and it might take you a little bit of time to build up to it. To help you with that, I've created a free resource. I'll place a link down in the description. It's going to show you how to kind of prepare your feet and ankles and strengthen them. It's a free resource. I highly recommend that you grab yourself a copy because the last thing you want to do is get injured. And now we've talked about that. I'm going to do a little bit of warming up because using your toes, staying light on your feet starts from the warm up. Okay, so even in the warm up when I'm playing mini tennis, I'm thinking about staying nice and light on my toes. So I'm trying to keep minimal contact time with the ground. When you're trying to change anything, you have to focus on it. So if you allow your mind to drift and start to think about other things, it won't work. So as I'm doing this, I'm constantly thinking about just staying light on my toes and just moving my feet. Now, Depending on your conditioning and your fitness, you're not going to be able to do a thousand of these in a row, especially at the start. So maybe narrowing it down and just doing 10 to 20 balls in a row, staying light on the toes, take a rest, make sure that you're okay, and then move on. So it's going to start right from that warm up, right from your mini tennis. Focus on using small steps, staying light on your toes, so you can initiate the movement from that back leg which is eventually gonna lead us to having the power. Okay, so as a quick reminder of the biomechanics, when we're trying to efficiently generate power and spin on your one-handed backhand, we're gonna be driving off that back leg. You're gonna be going from your unit turn position, your racket prepared, you're gonna be driving off that back leg as you drop that racket into the slot position, and then it's gonna be the hip that drives things forwards to basically throw the racket into the ball at contact. So that's why it's really important that we stay nice and light on our toes so that we can be in the right position and then we can set up from there to allow our hips to drive the movement. Now something that's gonna be really important with this is obviously the, the coordination, the hand-to-eye coordination, the visual component of it. We're working on the footwork, but this all depends on your ability to be able to predict where the ball's going. So as soon as your opponent hits it, can you read how fast the ball's going? Can you read the spin and the trajectory so you can start to set up in the right position? And the reality is that a lot of adult tennis players aren't able to do that very well. So I've got something to help you with that. I've got a masterclass called the Ability Amplifier Masterclass that's gonna explain how you can train and improve your vision, your visual processing, your hand-to-eye coordination, your foot-to-eye coordination to really help you take your game to the next level. So now that I said that, let's take a little bit of a look at some backhands from the back of the court where again, I'm working on staying nice and light on my toes. Okay, all I'm trying to do is stay nice and light on my toes. It's my job to get myself in the right place to be able to deal with whatever ball I'm trying to deal with. If it goes deep, I need to be able to react to that. If it goes a little bit shorter, I need to be able to react to it, which is why it's nice and light, small steps, just trying to make sure I'm set up in the right place. Now, as you can see, I'm not trying to hit it as hard as I can. All I'm trying to do is meet the ball out in front and get that ideal contact point. It's by using efficiently, efficiency, driving through that back hip, meeting the ball out in front. That's what allows you to get the power without putting so much effort in. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Staying nice and light on your toes. As you can see, I've hit maybe 10, 
12 balls, but because I'm working hard, my foot, my footwork, I'm trying to stay nice and light. Whew, I'm starting to breathe a little bit more heavily. So if you want to improve your timing, this is going to be a key piece of it. But like I mentioned earlier, obviously you have to be able to predict where the ball is going in order to be able to do this. You have to have the coordination to make it happen. So good timing on your one-handed backhand is part footwork, part vision, part coordination, which is why I've created that free masterclass to help you. There's a link down below. I'll place a link up there so you can grab hold of it. If you want to improve your game, if you want to improve your timing, I think you're going to really enjoy it. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll try and get back to you as quick as I can.